Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are on the corner of Werner Highway and Grand Boulevard. Grand Boulevard. When homeboy turned around, I was the only one that wasn't in line because I was in my truck. They told her, well, for some reason, the owner said that y'all got to get to the back of the line. Wait, what? We number 16 in line. Like, oh, well, fuck. So I drove all the way from doggone Westland out here wow. to the hood and still managed to get in the land wow. for their grand opening. Yeah, he gonna hate me because I'm gonna go on his Facebook on. page and post a picture. No, no, no. I'm gonna post my picture at Family Deals right along with the picture that he posted. Oh, I see that's the cutest little thing. Yes, it is. You Say so shy. Got? Did you do daddy? He don't like his mask. <laughs> hey, Ma, what did I say 10 minutes ago? I got three red glasses. Quit playing. What you say? Funny because I got three yes, red glasses. Yes, my man. I said, oh, he's so busy. I ain't seen you, but what's this? How many videos you did? Yes, uh. ma. Oh, it's probably like two, maybe. Two, maybe like, right. yeah. That's, that's why I told him, I said. Yeah. I can see you take. Yeah, I put that video out yesterday, and that was the first one in a while, I think. You must have yeah. been real busy, honey, yeah. out here making them up. Yeah, that too, is. yeah, oh, but yeah. this one I definitely keeps you busy. Good. I love this, because you know what? He came up with me, mm. wanting to flea market some bad stuff, and then set up. I came up with my mama going to options. Oh, really? Yeah. If, oh, okay. If you you want to come up here? Oh, Katie. I'm looking around. I'm, I'm looking for you, actually. Because I see him, I'm like, hey, I'm too old. I can't see you. <laughs> good luck. Hope y'all get some good stuff. You can go to mommy. She knows from YouTube. He was like, yeah, he, he was like, Prince of the Prophet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all. Got a lot going on. Hey, First of all, you can get whatever you want to, Bullet Tiggy.
Hey. Bye. but they'll be here on a cheaper day though, so I wouldn't get them. <laughs> That's how it be. <laughs> dollars but people are savage <laughs> They got stuff on the wall, it might be less than $10 or... No Pokemon came out. How do we know if it's less than ten dollars? Okay, now I'm confused now.
How is this still in here? Lego stuff, man. Where do you get the bags from? Oh, you're handing them out up front. If he say or less one more time, and I don't know what he mean. I don't know. <laughs> or less. Exactly. I don't see nothing priced. What is less? When you say $10 or less, how do we know what's less than $10? So if something doesn't retail up for this, this is not 10. It's five. So if it doesn't retail at $10, more than 10 is not gonna be 10. We're gonna save it with money, you know what I'm saying? So like this. Take this up for like 25, 8, 7, Okay. Still doesn't help me. So it's whatever they do. Yep. So bluey should be four dollars. See now that confuses me because there's a bunch of stuff I would get if I knew what the less price was. Right. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like they're gonna do it based on whatever they think the retail value is. Another charger too earlier. I was like, oh. keep grabbing all these things. Yes. Oh, that was my man. My man. Oh, hey. Thank you. Oh, pardon me. Fifty two, fourteen, fifty two, twenty six, twenty two, fifty five, fourteen, fifty. I'm trying to approach him like a yard sale. I'm like, will you take fifty for all this? <laughs> but I got five dollars for you. I kind of wanted to get this for Boogie, but it's not dishwasher. See, I give him a dollar for all these. Like, I figured these would be here on Dollar Day. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Here you go. No. somebody's bag. Yeah, I ain't get all them little things. Yeah. I mean, if they give me, I don't know. 20 bucks. Can't spend 10 to make 10. Because after fees, it's only like 6 bucks. Hey man, Dante. <laughs> What's going on? I think it is pretty good. You should get that. Oh, yeah. Got to make sure you talk them down, though. They said ten dollars or less. Or less, yeah. yeah right. so That's I the thing. And I'm saying you pile your bag in your basket up, but you don't know what stuff. Less. I know, right? You get an idea of what the ten is, but hey, you never know. Excuse my bad. But yeah, you want another one of those? Yeah, they say they can have your father go anymore. Mm -mm. <laughs> but I saw one right here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be less, you know, mm -hmm. to see what it is. Yeah, you know, I don't like that. It, it might be, it might be golden one. This one say it might have a diamond in, in this one. Diamond in these two. One in every 24 boxes. 
have a real diamond or a oh, real gold. Oh, okay. And it has regular gems. It also has just the regular gems in there, you know, amethyst and jade, crystal, stuff like that. So, okay. I'm gonna see what they talk Put me about. on something. Now Especially, I know. Yeah, especially if they got the different sizes. They can't mm. be all 10. So oh. Maybe <laughs> my this for 10. Maybe these for 3 for 10. I don't know. We'll, like you say, negotiate. Dante. I feel like I already know you. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, they go Dante. Yeah, oh. they, like, I don't know y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, man, they, it's a, good, a lot of good tips. So we saw you um, We saw you out on um, you did the CDS Palace. Now, we go to CDS Palace still. Some of the poor Haran? Um, not that one. I have to go to that one. Mm -hmm. We still go to the one. That's the one you was at? No, I went to the one in yeah, Taylor's, yeah, yeah. but um, I thought they were closed they down. No, Mad as hell when that dude that grabbed that one thing out of your head. You're like, man, here, man. Here. Yeah. I'm like, man, yeah, here. Oh, they, they called the security, man. This dude, they crossed the line. And, hey, I like that. I, like, I know, man, right? Come on, man. What is you They, they is, try you. Man? They definitely try you. Right, no. Start going through this stuff here in a minute. Yeah, I'll take that over there if you need one. Huh? I saw some of them. I got like one or two of them just to see if you'll give me a deal on them. Still wrap around the building. Yeah, and I know. I'm just chilling, waiting on them to put out the rest of the news. Me too. Right? I'm, like, <laughs> I'm taking my time. I said, he said restock. I'm trying to go slow. Oh, they ain't trying to kick me out. I feel almost guilty, but no, they kept saying they about to put something out, man. Yeah. Put it out. Y'all made y'all first wave. We supposed to go out and come back in or something, or what? Yeah, right? I don't know how they gonna, how that they ain't going. That ain't going nowhere until I'm out. Uh, bum rushing. We gonna be all. Uh, Right on his neck. For real. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, just that to me, <laughs> <laughs> For real. Okay. I'm with him. I'm with him now. Help me out too now. Dante, this is my. I really told him. I say, man, this is my man. How many followers you got, man? Huh? How many followers? Oh, not many at all, man. Oh, yeah. Well, you on TikTok? A half a million. Yeah. Everything, Facebook, and yeah. Facebook. Yeah. 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 A little bit of everything. That's my neighbor, man. Jefferson, man. You don't know. Yeah, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm talking. Okay. Okay. Uh, he already. I think. Yeah, yeah I he got you. Two ninety-five. He said. Hey, two ninety-five. Five dollars. Cash or a card? Is it cheaper by cash? Yeah, it is. Oh, I'll be half and half then. Oh, I got two points. I'll just play with my card. It's okay. Try to save a little bit of money. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. I'm at the house and this is all the stuff that we grabbed at the grand opening of the bin store today. And can't even lie, I am pretty pleased with the stuff that we got. When I break it down, please keep in mind that every single item was supposed to be $10 today, but I grabbed a few items to see if they would give me a deal because in the video, I don't know if you heard them shout, but they were screaming, everything in the bin is $10 or less, $10 or less. But they didn't have prices on anything that was the less than $10. So I asked, what is $10 or less? Like, what's the less part? And then they told me that, any item that pretty much, if you see the value on the box is less than $10, then obviously that's what they would charge, less than $10. So I decided to lock a bunch of stuff up to see if I can get the best deal possible. And I got a bunch of items the first time. And then I was like, yo, would you give me a deal? I pretty much started with all the Everwell tests because I knew some of them were more valuable than the other ones. I think I have 13 of those Everwells all together. And initially he said he would give them to me for a hundred bucks. And I was like, come on, man, come on, give them to me for 80 or 90. And he was like, okay, I'll give them to you for 90. So we got 13 for 90. So he gave me a deal there. And then he actually broke some other items down and gave me a deal too. Um, and then they kicked everybody out the store, unfortunately, and we had to go back in line and then come back in because they did their restock. I'm not really mad at that because I understand you want people to have to go back outside and then go back in line just because you don't want nobody being in the store as you restock. But still, it's an annoyance that I didn't really get to go through all the items like I wanted to because I felt rushed a little bit because of the restock. 
So went ahead and just grabbed the stuff that I got the deal. He gave me a nice bundle, I believe. I don't know exactly how many items I had the first time, but the first time I did my transaction, I paid 320 something dollars. He gave me everything for like 290 plus the transaction fees because I had to pay by my credit card. Came up to like 320, which sucked because if I had enough cash, I wouldn't have had to pay that fee because the second time I went back in the store, we got a few more items and then he gave me a few more discounts. Not like the first guy because the first guy gave me an excellent deal. He was giving me like three for 10 on certain items. And then the other dude was like, no, I'm not going to do that. So I put a lot of these healthy defenses back because they wouldn't give me the same deal that I got the first time. So I put all of them back actually. But he was like, no, 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 don't put nothing else back. I'll give you a deal on the rest of the stuff that you got. And he did. So in total, like I said, the first time we paid like 330, the second time we paid 130. So total that is 460, I believe if my math is correct. So we paid 460 for everything and I just counted. We have 70 items that we got from the bins. So technically if it's $10 day, we're supposed to pay $700, but we didn't. We paid 360, pretty much half off. And that is pretty good. Now, don't get me wrong now. There are some items, like we got two books in here that he gave us for 50 cents. One of them he gave me for free, but I did still account that because it's technically $10 day. So, so we got those 70 items all for 460. And now we're just gonna run through them real quick to see if we can make our 460 back and what kind of profit can we make on top of that. So let's go ahead and go through all the items and see exactly our profit and what we're gonna get and see if we're gonna make at least at least, I wanna make at least $700 on all this stuff. So let's go and see if we can do that. So normally I would have everything and just have it popped up on the screen for you guys, but I'm gonna see if I can just scan and then show you the price on my phone. So that way we don't have to do all of our little pop-ups that we normally do. So the goal is to make at least, we're gonna say $500 and some change, obviously, cause we spent $500. So we're gonna say we spent $500, although we spent 460, but we're gonna say $500 just cause I like rounding up. So let's see if we can find the barcode. Now we have two of these Everwell tests. This brand is the testosterone test. We have two of those. As you can see, people are trying to sell them for around $28 or so, $18, but we're always gonna go check these sold comps to see exactly what we can get. So around 24, 28, 31, so we can get these at least a solid 20 something dollars. We're gonna say $20 profit after fees and everything off of both of these. So that's $40 that we have in these two. And then right here, the thyroid test right here. Let's scan that one. So we're at $40 so far. And then the same thing basically for the thyroid test, they're going for around $25 to $30. So that's a nice little strong $20 profit. And all of these are thyroid tests too. So we're just gonna say $20 profit, although I probably could make a little bit more, but we're just gonna say $20 profit on all of them. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. That's $160 right there. And then these fit colon cancers, I hope they're worth around the same price. And these fit colon cancers, they are a little bit cheaper than the other ones you see they're going for 10 20 13 so pretty much we're just going to say well we see a bunch of 20s 11s plus shipping so basically around 20 dollars which we're just going to say 15 to be on the safe side with us being able to get roughly around 20 bucks for all of the boxes together we're just going to just nice little average and say 20 dollars a box two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six that's 260 dollars just in the everwell test right there that we should make and then we have this Agbecta cat. I think this is like a flea or a tick preventer. I sell these things all the time. And you can see the price is $34 and 90 something cents. I should probably get a solid, my guess is $25 off this item. Let's go ahead and scan it just to make sure that we can get that 25. I see 20, 25, but we're gonna go to the sold comps and you can see 19, 25, 20, 35. That's for two, 21, 25. So buck, about 20 bucks, we're gonna say $15 after fees. So we're gonna add that 15 to our 260 and we are at 275 right now. This uh, Metamucil, I sell these all the time too. So I'm just gonna say a $15 profit because normally I can sell those for around $19 and I usually charge shipping. So we're just gonna add another $15 profit to that. This Munchkin thing we bought for personal use, obviously this book he gave me for free. And I think he gave me the other another book over here 
for free too. So he gave me the How the Grinch Stole Christmas and this Carol Burnett book for free. This is a cat bag that we're not gonna add to any profit. Katie got this as a gift for somebody, I believe. And then this Modern Family, the complete series. This bad boy was selling for like 70 to 80 bucks if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and just scan this just to double check so I show you guys I am not lying. I was surprised when I scanned and see exactly how much money that this DVD was gonna make. So you can see people are trying to sell one for 150, 99, 81, 122, 122, and there's not many people with them. And they sell consistently 81, 74, 84, 101, 99, 54, 69. Those are used. So my guess, I should be able to get at least, we're going to sell on the very low end, $60 for that item. So we're just going to add 60, even though we can probably get a little bit more. So $60 plus we're at 350 so far. Not bad. Then right here, we have this AIDS test. This is going for like, I should get $25 for this, I believe. So we scan the barcode and you can see that $45, people are trying to sell it for, but you know me, we always go to the sold comps. And with the sold comps, you can see $23, 25, 23, 18, 23, 39, 152, 152, 23. So we're gonna say at least $20 on this thing, even though we can probably get more. I'm probably gonna try to get 35. I'm probably gonna promote this item to see if I can get more eyes on it. So at the very minimum, I should be able to get at least $20 profit on it. So we should be at least at 370 in profit right now, or not profit, but in total sales. And then we have this Motorola HK500 wireless headset. I think I saw someone sell one for 55 bucks, but when it comes to the actual sold comps, you see that somebody's trying to sell one for $55, but when you go to the sold comp, you can see it sold for $19 plus the shipping. So I should be able to get at least $20 on this item too. We're just gonna say $20. So plus $20, again, that is $390. Then we have this Tamagotchi Picks. This thing was selling for like around 50 something dollars, if I'm not mistaken. You can see consistently it's selling for 34, 45, 49, 38, 49, 49, 49. So if it's going for 49 consistently, I should make at least a $33 profit on that. And that's what you're going on the low end. So we're just gonna say plus $33 and see where we're at, 420. We're at 420 already. And then we got a few of these Neutrogena Healthy Defense three packs. I was trying to get a bunch more, but he wouldn't give me the same deal the second time around. That was kind of annoying. I wish I was got to deal with the same dude that I dealt with the first time, but it is what it is. We have three boxes though. When you go to Soul Comps, you can see a three pack go for $37, one pack go for 16, a three pack go for 32, one pack go for 16. And if you break it down, each individual box going for 16, you can make more money than selling them in three packs. So it just all depends on how I want to sell them. Probably going to sell them in three packs just to get them gone, three, six, nine. So we're going to say add $90 to our total because I am going to make them pay shipping. And I will probably charge like around $30 and some change to see if I can clear a $30 profit. So we're just gonna add $80 on the low end. So we're at 503 already. So we're at 503 already. And then we still have a ton more items that we can potentially make some profit on. And again, we only paid 450 for all of it total. So not bad so far. And then the rest of the stuff, we're gonna kind of just try to zoom through because I feel like I'm going slow and I don't like going slow at all. So let's knock this out. All these Disney Legos right here, we're just gonna put them all together. You can see the Lego Disney Frozen, the Lego Marvel, the Lego Disney Frozen again, and then this Lego Jurassic Park. Obviously the little ones aren't as expensive as the bigger ones, but I believe this one I should be able to get at least 20 to $30 for because it's selling for like 40 brand new, I believe. And I think this is just an open boxed item. So the recent sold comps for this one is 18, 24 19 so we're just gonna say around a 15 dollars on this one the second one is selling for like around 10 dollars consistently so we're just gonna say 10 dollars and then this one's selling for like around the same so we're just gonna add another five dollars to the pile add another five dollars to the pile because i should be able to get at least five dollars on all of these even if i just put them on whatnot so we're gonna say 20 30 and then we're gonna say 35 and then this one we should be able to get 10 dollars for yeah, because you see sold comps on this one for 20 bucks. So not bad. At least 50. Yeah, we get at least $15 for these two. So that's 30. These two together, that's 40. 
Well, it's a $45 off of all of the Legos. Not bad. 45 bucks off all those Legos. Add that bad boy to our total. Plus 45, we're at 548. This book right here I got for my son, so we're not gonna add anything to the total, but you can see it was selling for 40 bucks. And I guess that price tag 40 is gone somewhere. Yeah, right there, $40 normally, but we're not gonna sell this, so we're not gonna add any profit to it. And then we got these earbuds completely for free, these AeroSound earbuds, generic earbuds, but I could probably get like around 10 to $15 for them if I sell them on whatnot, especially if I put them on eBay, it would just take a little bit longer to go unless I sold them for like 17 or so. So I can get at least $15 for these. We'll add $15 to our total so far. So we're at 563. And then right here, we have hair regrowth treatment for men. He gave me a deal on all of them. We have four boxes. And you know, men always need to keep their hair straight and people, and if you don't know, these hair items sell pretty good because people don't want to be bald and each one sells for like around $20 a box. So 19, anywhere between 15 to $22 a box. So we're just going to say $10 a box on the very low end, 10, 20, 30, 40. And when I say $10 a box, I mean actual profit. So that means I probably will sell them for like 17 after fees and everything. I should get at least $10 a box. So this is a nice $40 in profit right there. And I may slide and get to throw one on whatnot and get a little bit more. So we're just going to add 40 bucks to our total that we have so far. Plus 40, 603 so far. Not bad. And then we have a bunch of these little wireless chargers. We're not even going to look them up. We know chargers can go anywhere between like seven to 15, $20, six feet cord is going to do a little bit better than a three foot cord. These little exclusive chargers will do better than a regular charger. So it just all depends. And most likely I'm going to put these on whatnot. And I believe I should get at least five to $10 per charger. So one, two, three, four, five, we have five chargers. We're just going to say $25 for all of the chargers combined. We should get a little bit more, but you know me, I like being a low end. So we're just going to say $25, add that to our total. And we're at 628. Next is going to be the Sonic the Hedgehog little toy figurine. That's like the bad guy on Sonic. What's his name? Mr. Robotic, I believe. But, uh, you can see his name is Dr. Eggman. It says right there, Dr. Eggman selling consistently $23, $30, $25, $46, $29, $60, $28. $28. So we're going to say we should get at least a $20 profit on this item. Everything's going to be at least a $20 profit. So boom, $20 added to our total. We're at $648. And again, most of this stuff is going to go a little bit better than what I'm telling you. I'm just always going on a low end. And then these life straws, these sell every single time for me. This is probably going to sell for like around $15 or so. So we're just going to say like a $12, $13 profit. Uh, so we're at six sixty one dollars so far. And then we have this Babe Waves, uh, the hair waver. This bad boy sells all day, every day. I don't need it for my hair, but whoever does, I'm going to make sure I get it for them and have it available. And you can see it's selling for $29, 19 open box, 22, 34, 41, 19. And the best thing about it, it sells all day, every day. So we're going to say we're going to get at least another $20 off this item, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but we're going to say $20 strong. I feel like we can get just a little bit more. These little face and body acne kits only are selling for like around maybe 10 to 17 bucks, but we're going to keep this actually. And then we have a bunch of bluey items that if I wanted to resell this, I could probably get 19 to 20, $30 for it, but we're going to keep it. And then also this little bluey toy right here, we can probably get the same anywhere between seven to 14, $15, but we're going to keep it. So we're not going to add it to our profits. Anything we keep, we do not add to profit. Then we have this PS4 Anthem game, really not worth that much, like five, $6 on eBay if I decided to resell it, but I'm going to keep it. He gave it to me for free anyway, and I have a PS4 and I never played this game. So I might just keep it, keep it sealed forever, or I may play it one day. Who knows? I'm not going to add that to profit either. Then we have the Adams Family game. Somebody said they wanted it. That's somebody being Katie. So we went ahead and just grabbed it for her. Not going to add that to profit. Then we have these Universal Classic Monster DVDs. These bad boys are going for like 40 bucks on eBay all day. It was $72. These bad boys. I mean, I can't believe I found two of them. So you can see they're selling for $34, 29, 31, 34 consistently, 27, 30, 54, 40. 
38, 39. So I should be able to get at least 25 to 30 dollars a piece. I'm just gonna say for both of them, 50 bucks, although it really should be like 60, but I'm just gonna say 50 bucks on the low end. We're gonna add for both of those DVDs plus 50. So we're at 731 so far, not bad. And then we have this Jurassic World 5 movie DVD collection. Um, I know somebody who likes this. I'm not sure if I want to give it to them or if I want to actually resell it. Uh, every time I have the dilemma like that, I just like let fate decide for me. I'll list it for a week. And if it doesn't sell within the week, then I'll just give it as a gift like I was going to. But I would only get like around $20 profit on this item, maybe 20 because it's selling for 29, 28, 27, 37. So yeah, at least a $20 profit on this item, which won't be bad. And I always say profit because again, I always consider what fees may be, shipping may be, which majority of the time I make them pay for shipping. And that $20 made our total at $7.51 so far. So we were supposed to pay $700 for all the stuff total and we still have more items to go. So if I would have had to pay the normal price, we would be in profit already anyway. And don't forget, there's some items that we didn't even add because we're going to keep ourselves. Next, we're going to have this Jurassic World Legacy Collection, Dr. Eli Sattler. I believe this thing was worth like 30 to 40 bucks. That's why I grabbed it. Let's go ahead and scan this barcode just to make sure I am not a liar and my pants don't go on fire. And you can see consistently it's selling for... I always got the soul comps first because what people sell them for and what they actually sell for is two different things. So it's so brand new for $35, $52 pre-owned 14 brand new 50 pre-owned 26 brand new 55 50. So I should get it like around 40, $35 to this. I'm going to add $35 to my profit because I should get at least 35 at the very low end. So that puts us at 786. And what the heck is this? I didn't even add this to my total. I don't even know what this is. This is a foam. Yeah, I get this was in there and I didn't even know this was in there. I don't even think I paid for this, but uh, regardless, I might just give this away on my giveaway this week because I didn't pay for it and I didn't even know it was in there. So with that being said, yeah, this is just gonna be a giveaway item. We're gonna give that away. And then we have some baby wipes. Obviously, you know, I have a baby. We're gonna use these bad boys for ourselves. We have the melatonin because it's a good deal and we grabbed that too. And then Infamil formula. Man, I should add this to our profit because I would have had to pay 40 to 50 bucks for this bad boy if I did not find it. Luckily, I found it and this was only $10. So we saved a lot of money on formula right there. And then we have this baby space discovery set brand new Barbie items do pretty good for me for some reason on eBay. So I went ahead and copped it. The last time I grabbed me a Barbie item is sold for $150. I will not get 150 for this one, but I should get around, I want to say it was 30, 40 bucks or so. So let me go ahead and just scan it. I can see someone selling one for $15.99. So maybe I saw the wrong thing initially. Let's go ahead and check these sold comps because that's always the truth. $15.99, but that was pre-owned. $24, $30, $30, $33, $29, $29, 29 So consistently around $29, which means I should get that $20 profit and that will put us in $800 in profit so far. That's what I'm talking about. And as far as this Funko Pop goes, he just kind of threw this in my bag. I really didn't even want it. He saw that I had two of these and I needed one more to make it $10. So he just grabbed a random item out the bin. It was like, here, just take this and we'll say three for 10. So I went ahead and just took it. Didn't argue, although I really did not want it. Just like these little Black Panther pop series. After I looked them up, I was like, ah, I'm definitely not going to pay $10 for them, but he gave me such a good deal. I went ahead and just kept them. And they're also in like the hard protective case, which I thought was pretty decent. They should definitely be in good condition. But when you go on like eBay and you ch check the sold comps, they're only selling for like $10, man. So both of them together, I'll get 20 bucks for. If I have one like locally, I think I can probably get a little bit more money for it. Possibly if I put it on like whatnot or something, I might can get a little bit more than $10, but it's looking like I'm going to get anywhere between the $10 and $15 range. So we're just going to say $20 for both of them. And that's probably being a little bit too generous. So that would bring us up to $826 so far. And don't forget, we have to take away what we paid for all this stuff. And we'll do that as soon as we finish. We have one more little row to go. Okay, so let's be honest. I got tired of kneeling down, showing you all the items. So I decided to sit down in my chair. We only have a few more to go. So let's go ahead and knock these bad boys out. 
And the next item is going to be the Star Wars Advent Calendar. Went ahead and grabbed it. I know Christmas is a long time away, but Advent Calendars still sell all year round. This one sold consistently for like around $29. So we go ahead and add around $20. We're just going to say $20. We're going to add $20 to our total so far. And we were at 826. So now we will be at 846 because we added the Funko Pop advent calendar. And then next we're gonna have this Disney's Lego 43203. This Lego set selling consistently for like around $35. So we're just gonna say $25 in profit. Add that to our total that we have so far. And I believe our total was what 846. And I said we're gonna add $25 profit. And we're at 871. Then this Gorilla versus Kong is selling consistently for like around $38, $34, $24.99. So I should profit. Probably a lot of these people are doing free shipping. The $24.99 was plus the $10 shipping. So that's probably gonna be more my little range, 20 something dollars plus the shipping. So I should profit probably a strong. $20 off this item. This is a consistent 20s in this place. We like $20 bills, just throwing 20s all over the place. I'll take it. So that'll bring our total to eight. 91 so far and then i thought this was pretty cool i don't even know how this was left in the bins this was like at the very end too so i thought ninja turtles versus street fighter that should definitely be worth a little bit of money and when i saw it 39 dollars, 38 dollars, consistently going on ebay and i should profit at least 30 dollars off this bad boy i won't even take less than a 30 dollar profit off of this i might even put this at the yard sale and put 35 dollars on it because, because somebody's gonna see this and want this item i can't really believe somebody left this behind in the bins there wasn't a lot of resellers in the bins there was a few but not as many as i thought there would be it was funny somebody noticed me when i was in line they were like yo dante prisoner profit and i just thought that was pretty funny he had the same name as my brother can never forget that uh so appreciate you dre if you happen to catch this video him and his mom uh watch my videos his mom actually put dre on to my videos so that's what's up man i really do appreciate y'all and but uh meeting dre in there man he found some great items i found a bunch of good items and like I said, I was shocked to see all the items that was left behind because there really wasn't a lot of uh, resellers. So, like I said, I should make a strong little $30 profit on this. And I don't know if I added it to my profit already. I don't think I did. So, we're just going to say we're at $9.21 now because we just added it. And if I added it already, oops, oh well, we'll be okay. We'll be off $30. <laughs> then the next item is going to be this uh, Star Wars The Mandalorian Grogu. Grogu? I don't know. Grogu? I don't even know why I got this thing. This thing's selling for $25. It's not even consistently either. This is just one of those things where he gave me a deal on it, so I just grabbed it just because. But uh, if it sells for the $25, I'll be happy. There are people with a little bit higher sold comps on there. Or not sold comps, but there are people who are trying to sell it for a little bit higher. But the only sold comp is that $25 sold comp. So uh, I'm just going to say a $20 profit because they did pay $12 to get it shipped to them too. So that being said, I can price mine for $30 and then work around there with the best offer. So we're just going to say a nice $20 profit, which brings us to $9.41 as of the moment. And then we have... This Hot Wheels Monster Truck Series, Glow in the Dark, I thought it was pretty cool. And anytime I think something's cool, I think somebody else out there in the world is probably going to think it's cool too because I got good taste. <laughs> but this sold for $27, $39, and $27 consistently. So I should profit like around $22, but we're just going to round down and say $20 off this item which should bring our total to 961 so far. Not bad. And we only have two more items left. We have this Marvel Thor, Marvel, what is that, Ragnarok? Is that how you pronounce it, all you Marvel lovers out there? It's selling for $29, $31, kind of consistently a little bit. So I should profit at least $25 off this because it's real light too. So yeah, let's bump up from the $20. We're going to say $25 and then... That brings us to 986. And then finally, we have this Guardians of the Galaxy Pop Tees version. Only reason I grabbed it because the t-shirt was included. And I have one of these actually up there, but it's Roman Reigns and his t-shirt that I will never open. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this for myself and just put it in my personal collection, even though I don't even like Star Wars. I will probably list it just because, I mean, it's profit. 
I got it for pretty much like $8 when you break it down to every item. And they're selling around $44. I can see a lot of people are just taking best offers around the $40 range. So I'm assuming a lot of people are taking $30 offers for it. So we're just going to add 30. We're actually, we're not going to add $30 to our profit because actually we are because we're at $9.86 right now. And if I add the $30, we'll be over $1,000 in total sales. But again, don't forget we paid... 320 something and then 140 something so basically we pay 400 well minus the 450 that we paid for everything and we should profit at least 566 dollars and some change and that's at the very low end on all of this stuff that's that's not that's not bad i thought it was a little bit less than that honestly but uh yeah so if i could be honest probably gonna profit like around six hundred dollars so not bad not bad at all and that's all the stuff that we got at the brand new bin store nice grand opening was it the best grand opening that i've ever been to no definitely not but it's definitely a good grand opening they had a lot of good items in the bins and ten dollar day starting out a little bit more expensive for my liking just because you know i'm used to a lot of bin stores they're six dollar days five dollar days and those are the restock days ten dollars you're gonna have to be really picky on the items that you grab but you can still find a bunch of good items for profit and or personal use so i definitely do recommend family deals make sure you go check them out if you live locally in the detroit area because that's where they're at um yeah, not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. I really like the flow of how everything went. Even though the I was in the back of the line, we still came away with some really good items. I do believe in a few weeks the store will get busier and, you know, maybe the quality of the items that they put in the bins will definitely decrease because that's what every single bin store does. Grand opening days are the best days. But I think I'm going to go check them out on their dollar day and I'll take you guys with me just to see the, the difference and see how much profit I can make off of their dollar days because those are the days I learned are like the best days to go. One and two dollar days because that's when you can actually maximize your profits. I can probably go find an item in there for a dollar and a resale for like around twenty dollars versus me paying 10 and only getting $20. You know, I mean, it's the, I would rather spend a dollar to get 20 than 10 to get 20 because I'm only making $10 versus making 19. So, but overall, definitely happy with me going and I'm glad because we made probably over $550, probably six, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. But um, that's it for this video long one guys it's a long one but uh you know what i'm about to say make sure that you bless somebody today because i promise you i'm gonna bless somebody tomorrow but at this point in time your boy tay got a lot of listening to do i'm out <laughs>